Okay, to talk about control devices, we'll use this overhead camera shot where you can see the devices that I'm using. I use three, and they're not all standard. We have a pointing device called our mouse, a standard keyboard, and a special key set we have here. And we're going to go for a picture down in our laboratory in Menlo Park and pipe it up that'll show you from another point of view more about how that mouse works. Come in, Menlo Park. Okay, there's Don Andrews' hand in Menlo Park. And in a second, we'll see the screen that he's working and the way the tracking spot moves in conjunction with movements of that mouse. I don't know why we call it a mouse. Sometimes I apologize. It started that way, and we never did change it. All right, as it moves up or down or sideways, so does the tracking spot. And the, the principles for its operation are quite easy to see. If you'll turn it over, Don. Can you hear me, Don? Would you turn it over and we'll see, right. Its principle is that there are two wheels that roll on the surface. But since they're at right angles and kind of sharp edges, one roll and the other slide in one direction. Each of, it, each of these wheels controls through a potentiometer with a voltage output sampled by an ADV converter. The numbers taken in by the computer at sample times as to what the horizontal vertical components are to be of where it should put the tracking spot. And as the mouse moves over a surface, then each of those wheels either slides sideways without rolling or rolls an amount that very closely duplicates the particular component of horizontal or vertical in the net motion it makes. All right, if you take a mouse and move it through some closed trajectory back to exactly the same point, usually the tracking spot won't come back to exactly the same place it was on the screen. And for that sense, it wouldn't work well if you're trying to trace maps or other figures and di diagrams. But the way we use it continuously and com exclusively is to watch the screen and to follow it around. And we use this merely as a device to move that tracking spot. And your eye on the tracking spot, you really don't care whether it follows exactly this or not. In fact, we've had it at times where our tracking device, you had to move in an arc like that to make the spot, the tracking spot, go on a horizontal line. And people adjusted to it and would go like that to go in a straight line and wouldn't even know that they were doing it. Other features of the mouse are that it stays put. I can lift it and replace it without having a spot change so I can adjust where I want it for my comfort. And these control buttons on the top are used quite a bit. And I'll show you a little bit later how some of those are used. 